<laughs> it is starting. Okay, now we are live. Okay. Hello. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I hope you can hear us. Hello, hello. Hi. <laughs> Nobody is here watching right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sunday morning, I can understand. Sunday yes. morning is not a... <laughs> That's not yeah, a big but... deal because it will be on my channel. Mm -hmm. So people can watch uh, later on. It's working. <laughs> I hear uh, yeah. you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so let's start officially now. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> and today I have a very special guest for the second time, actually for the third time, but last time we had some technical problems. <laughs> it happens. But now it's working. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and Gabriella is with us again. I'm very, very excited about that. Uh, and we are going to talk about uh, dealing with in-laws. But before, I would just mm. present myself a little bit. My name is Margarida, but everybody calls me Margan. I have this YouTube channel uh, where I uh, do content about motherhood in Germany, being a woman, uh, expat woman, and so on. And uh, maybe, Gabrielle, you can say something about you? I can say something. Oh, yeah, I try. Um, <laughs> I'm Gabriela Encina. I'm a licensed psychologist and I work exclusively online with expat women. I offer counseling online, 100%, and I help them uh, to reconnect with their identity, to uh, find their purpose and their meaning abroad, and to be whatever they want to be, whatever they want. So it's my focus now it's 100% 100% sorry 100% expat women that want know what they want but they don't know exactly how to get um and yeah i um mostly offer uh, counseling in english but also in espanol and auf deutsch so yeah wow. and today i'm very very happy to be here because this is a very common um, topic among my clients so I'm I'm looking forward to speaking about that <laughs> great and I hope a lot of people are watching us and will um, learn something <laughs> like I do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> okay. thank you <laughs> okay um, so shoot start <laughs> can I ask you at first why is this a complex matter of being in expat life and having to deal with in-laws because dealing with in-laws Everybody that has a partner, a husband, a wife has to. But why is this more <laughs> yeah. complex for us? Because we are in a vulnerable place. Uh, expats and migrants and digital nomads, etc., people living abroad, are in a vulnerable place, especially concerning family, because we left our family or parents or siblings or extended family. And we are more keen or we are more open and also more vulnerable to others' families or partners' family. We, the, the idea is that we have a, a good relationship with them, um, uh, tied or, or, or a strong relationship, a strong bond with them. And we try to move in that direction. I mean, doing things to like them, like, like you said, it's normal to do that in, in normal life not, not if you moved. But especially when you moved, we are you are especially keen to like them and to fit and to adapt yourself to their cultural manners and their traditions and their way to express. So when we are experiencing rejection, even if it's not real in the sense of they didn't mean it like that or whatever, when we experience re rejection from them, it's it hears double as hard as normal rejection or as normal, fi uh, not fighting, but discussions or arguments. Um, so that's why it's so special. And apart from all of that, the, the cultural differences that we perceive from them or them from us, mm -hmm. it's it makes it... Um, more challenging, let's say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I remember last time you said something that uh, stayed in my head was like mm -hmm. um, getting along with your in-laws in a normal life, it's already mm -hmm. winning the lottery. <laughs> so if you get along <laughs> with your expat in-laws, it's like winning it 
the jackpot. <laughs> exactly, the super jackpot. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 complicated. Relationships are complicated. Relationships with partners are complicated, and relation relationships that we didn't. Um, ah, yeah, I told you that last time. Is it is imposed in mm -hmm. a way. Uh, they they come with the package, <laughs> and and your family is your family. You you was you were born there, so yeah, you you have to accept it. But this one, you want to accept it because it's the people that your partner loves. But it's also you want to be accepted by them uh, because you are alone or you're you don't have this uh, support network that you had back home. So it is it is. Um, a lottery and winning a jackpot, but still, if you win the jackpot, that is a, already great. Maintaining the jackpot, <laughs> it's also a challenge because uh, in the end, and that's very hard to say, but in the end, they are not your family. Mm -hmm. You want them to be, uh, it is. Um, in the sense you didn't grow that? up with them. You mean. Exactly. And, and also because in the end, they're not your family. Mm -hmm. They are the family of your partner. And if you are uh, struggling with ups and downs in the relationship, in the end, they will going to be behind your partner. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. let's take insights, if you may. It, I'm, I'm, I'm getting really, in, in, not dramatic, but really in, in, the, in the extreme position. But that's the problem as well. Because mm -hmm. I've seen uh, expat separations and how difficult it is for for one of the one side of the relationship to cope with the rejection of the extended of the of the um, political family you know what i mean uh, okay okay yeah so that's also okay, yeah i didn't know if I, I don't know if we we talked about it but i have a couple of cases right now mm -hmm. with clients revolving that so i th i thought it was all um yeah. important to mention it as well yeah, you know you it's also, it's yeah we, hmm? last time we kind of talked about how good can be and some strategies so we can deal with it but then you said also that sometimes it just doesn't work uh, mm -hmm. you, know, you just decide that you don't want to have a relationship with your partner's family it is the relationships are so difficult to force mm -hmm. I, I don't want to say impossible but they are so difficult to force it can happen because it's life you don't that you don't like them or that they don't like you and they have to accept you because you are the partner of their son, daughter, and vice versa. You have to accept them because they are their family from your partner. But that doesn't mean that you like them, that you enjoy being with them. But it's it's like, okay, like you come with the package, I accept the package. I don't like it. I don't want to be around them that much, but I accept it, you know? It and that's also, also a healthy way to see it. It takes Sorry. also time to reach that point where, because... As you said, we have an expectation. We want to like them. Yes. Um, yeah. And as you said last time, be aware that it's it's impossible not to build an expectation, but be aware that uh, it might not happen as you thought. Um, that goes for everything in life. Yeah, yeah and, exactly. And, and, and recognizing that, ex first of all, recognizing that, that we have expectations. Mm -hmm. Because it is impossible not to have expectations. I guess I told you the last time. Yes. Uh, if I told you, if I tell you, don't think about penguins. What are you thinking now? Yeah. Right. It's <laughs> it's it's the same. Expectations. It's not like okay, I don't have expectations. Period. Acknowledge them and make a reality check of of the expectations. Okay. How real is that? How and how far can I influence these mm -hmm. expectations? How how can I control? And how can I just uh, Leave it to luck, if you may, and to accept the outcome, whatever it is. But, but that this, requires... Yeah, exactly. To do this reality yeah. check, you have to have already some meetings with your family because you have to know what is real and what is not. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. And if your partner can say whatever they want about their family because, again, it's their yeah. family. But in the end, what is important is what you think and what you feel and how you feel with them and about them right because by proxy it doesn't work <laughs> you don't yeah. love them because of your partner you don't love or like them or love them because of you in the end mm -hmm. right that's really important because we tend to you know uh, if the other thing is good we should go with the flow you know but 
that's not the case. You, you have to look to yourself, what you're feeling, what yeah. you're thinking. Yeah. yeah. yeah Despite exactly. of the others. And they are free to have their own feelings and, and thoughts also. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And, and, and about the feelings and thoughts. Uh, I don't know. I, I would I, I would like you to share your experience yes. with with your, <laughs> but I would like to to, to talk somehow some, some at some point about the. Um, I I lost the idea. Sorry. <laughs> the feelings and thoughts. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I I don't know. But I wanted to talk about that uh, relationship and how to um, respect yourself, not to, to set boundaries and mm -hmm. and knowing how far you want them to get to your life and to your traditions and to your experience as an expat, you know, but we can talk about it later. I would love to hear your experience. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, I want to share <laughs> two experience that happened the first Christmas I spent in Germany. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you kind of know it already because I talked about that last time. I would love But to hear it again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, um, we spent one Christmas day at my husband's um, mother's house and the other uh, in his father's house. And, uh, you know, in Portugal, we have these big Christmas meals with way too much food, <laughs> for my opinion, if you ask me. But that's it. And um, we have everything, you know, we have fish, we have meat, we have uh, many desserts. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And we were I know to... I know those those fests. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> But sorry, I wanted to add a, a different, differing from you. That's never for me. That's never enough, and it, it is never enough. <laughs> for, really? So I'm more on, on your side of the pub, like in the Portugal side of the yeah, definitely <laughs> never enough food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not bad because we eat the next three days. You know, we don't have to cook. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's just it's it's a lot of food. Um, <laughs> And uh, we went to my husband's uh, mother, so my, my mother-in-law's house. At mm -hmm. that time, we were not married yet, but it was my mm -hmm. first Christmas in Germany and I was really happy. I had a white Christmas, you know, <laughs> it was snowing. She lives in the Black Forest um, oh, wow. mm -hmm. and it was cold. Um, it, was, it was nice and I built for sure some expectations. <laughs> I don't mm -hmm. remember anymore right now, but I'm sure I built some expectations. <laughs> and then the dinner was pizza. And uh, <laughs> that's not actually very German traditional, <laughs> as no. far as I know. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> and uh, there was no dessert. <laughs> <laughs> For me, that's an like, expectation broken wow. expectation no yeah. dessert in germany my god okay yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so i was like you know i'm not that special mm -hmm. i took it a little bit personally i i mm -hmm. think mm -hmm. and just after all these years i realized that because i let myself think about that because of this life <laughs> you know mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. And in the end, we had such a great time. We, we played many um, table games mm -hmm. and with his family. I, I love table games, so it, it was perfect. But Wonderful. Mm -hmm. But this, this food thing stayed in my mind, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> <laughs> so it is important for you, admit it. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And I can see. Did you also, ever talk about it? Sorry, with with her or with your partner? I talked with my family, <laughs> which maybe is a little bit unfair. I don't know if I talked with my partner at the time, mm -hmm. um, but I remember talking with my family, and they were like shocked. <laughs> I don't know. I think I felt like I need a. I need to check if I am the the strange okay. person here mm -hmm. or if somebody mm -hmm. else thinks also this is weird. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. I had the confirmation because for them it was also weird. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I mm -hmm. think I needed that. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. And, and and now, as you said, Christmas is a very yeah. um, problem, a potentially problematic time with mm -hmm. that, especially if it's the if the first or even the second time that you're meeting your in-laws. It's uh, the, the traditions and the way they express, and that's so important. The way they express uh their your their welcome or their welcoming to you or how they like you mm -hmm. 
it may be, and, and usually is not the way that you expect it to be, like with desserts or with something not like, not pizza. Pizza, pizza sounds so, I didn't think about anything, so I bought pizza or I made pizza, right? Like it's like, yeah. okay, whatever. Like giving someone a chocolate, like, like for a birthday, it's like, okay, I didn't think of anything. I just grab a chocolate and I give it to you. Yeah. No, no, no thought behind it. But that's an assumption. Exactly. Right? You don't that know. That was a big mm-hmm. assumption for me, I can tell yeah. you, because... Uh, my mother-in-law, she has a big on her plate. She has one child doesn't like meat. The other only eats meat. The other, oh. uh, you know, so yeah. one just like salad. So she thought pizza everybody likes. And I totally yeah. understand her, you know, everybody yeah. ate. She just has to cook one meal. I mm-hmm. totally understand her. But mm-hmm. it took me some time to get it. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. And I think that's so important, Marga, that, that, that you actually give yourself permission mm. to feel disappointed, to feel like, to, to talk to your family about it. Like, is it weird that I'm feeling like this? <laughs> no. That's my answer always. No, it is never weird that you feel whatever you're feeling mm-hmm. because you were disappointed. It was sad. It was your first <laughs> Christmas. You wanted something else. It, that's that's okay. What's not okay is act on that. Like, you know, like staying with the, the, that feeling and, okay, she doesn't love me. That Those those thoughts, those intrusive thoughts, like, I don't like it. She doesn't like me. She will never like me. I will never have a Christmas, a white Christmas as, as I dreamt of. All these thoughts are different, but th- allow yourself, allowing yourself to feel disappointed is the first way to see Mm-hmm. the good things you know if you if you stay with the no i don't i shouldn't feel and that's blocks, actually yeah. counterproductive mm-hmm. it's it's like putting putting yourself and and everything on the spot and judge everything you know and and that's not healthy for you and for other people as well right. and then next day yeah. we went to my father sorry i'm i'm just <laughs> interrupting your story no so no sorry. that's that's great because i'm i'm learning <laughs> what you interrupt Okay, so so the next morning, and the next yeah, we went to my father's law, but there was a lot of traffic, and we arrived a little bit late, and mm-hmm. uh, they ate already. <laughs> and they, we have everything, yeah, you know. <laughs> we had everything on the table to eat. Nothing was missing, and it mm-hmm. was fondue. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was mm-hmm. something more. You know, not pizza. Um, elaborated, <laughs> elaborated, yeah. exactly. Uh, but we were eating alone because the others already ate. <laughs> they sat mm-hmm. on the table with us to talk a little bit. But for me, that's also really different because we wait <laughs> like two, three hours. <laughs> People show up. Okay, we can eat. I don't know a little cheese or bread, but we don't eat mm-hmm. the main course until mm-hmm. everybody's there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, or so they didn't. Sorry, I was bombarded but they didn't that even, Christmas. <laughs> they didn't sit on the table with you, even like with a coffee or something. Yeah, they no? sit. They sit, but ah, they, yeah. But okay. the main course okay. was already was already eaten. eaten. Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. well, that's a, that, that was a rough Christmas, right? <laughs> yeah. In that it sense, was. it was. <laughs> but you know, for me to to sit and realize that it took me some time. I just mm. live it through and thought, okay. Let's go to the other mm-hmm. day. I, it was needed at the time. It would be mm-hmm. nice if I would have someone like you <laughs> with who I had <laughs> counseling <laughs> and mm-hmm. uh, would push me to think a little bit what happened, what I felt and so on. Mm-hmm. I think right now. Do, do you remember what you, thought, what you felt apart from disappointment? Do you remember? I felt that I was not that important for them. Okay. Yeah, I think so rejection. the main feeling, exactly, a little bit mm-hmm. rejection or not considering the fact that it was my first Christmas in Germany. Because mm-hmm. the thing is, in Portugal, um, my family, it's always doing this and that, you know, for my husband. <laughs> and he needs to try everything. I feel like I have to protect <laughs> him because sometimes it's too much, you know. <laughs> too much. Are yeah. you sure you don't want? Are you, but are you really exactly. sure that you don't want? <laughs> I have to open my eyes and say, no, he doesn't want anymore. <laughs> And, um, you know, for him, it's also, it's the other way around. Sometimes we, we are watching, where is Patrick? Where is Patrick? And he's, he's closed in his room, <laughs> our room. Yeah, just to have his quiet 
time and now I don't need that I need a lot of people a lot of noise mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. feeling mm -hmm. crowded feeling and he's totally the opposite so I feel like I have to protect him sometimes <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious how do you what how do you leave because you, you are now back home right but yes. normally in Germany how do you do it now how, how do you cope with it how do, how do you if you may prepare yourself for for the christmases at your at your in-laws oh i think i spent just two christmas there ah okay uh, so the, the, i didn't go to portugal have to, yes oh, okay 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 mm -hmm. uh, i don't have any special preparation Okay. Maybe it's naive from my side. I should have. <laughs> no, 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 no. But, but, but it is like, uh, how do you say it? No, you don't say resignation. Like, like you're, uh, like you accept it, but in a way, like, okay, I'm going. Or it's like, okay, whatever it is, I don't care because I'm going to be with them. How, how is your approach? That's what more than preparation. How's your approach to, to that? I think I'm, I'm not like, whoa, oh, I have to go. Not like that okay. at all. Okay. I like mm -hmm. to go. Um, mm -hmm. I always, my husband proposes next weekend we go somewhere mm -hmm. to, my, to mm -hmm. my mother, to my father. And I always mm -hmm. him, I say yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Because in my opinion, we see them uh, to not enough times. because Not they, enough. Okay. Yeah, they, they live far. And uh, mm -hmm. I'm used to see my family, I don't know, at least every week. Um, and um, it's not the case with them. So every time... He's in the mood to go. I'm in also. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I think that's good also for our son, and not mm -hmm. our daughter is still too little. But uh, mm -hmm. um, so mm -hmm. I always want to go. But um, yeah, with the expectations, I try to work with them a little bit. I don't know to do mm -hmm. this reality mm -hmm. check. I, I guess. Mm -hmm. I guess I do a little bit mm -hmm. unconsciously this reality mm -hmm. check that mm -hmm. you talked about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if you have extra tips. <laughs> tips uh well reality check is the same the, the the thing is accept i mean not first of all not take it personally mm -hmm. not necessarily because it, it may you know it can be personal i, I don't know maybe they hate you and they, they are <laughs> yeah. giving you pizza because you don't you don't you know i mean it can happen it's it's not yeah, yeah. sadly it's not that rare but either if you have a good relationship with them, like a relationship that holds honesty, ask them or, or tell them what I did when, when, with my um, mother-in-law is to tell her what I wanted for Christmas. For example, um, she, but she asked us like, oh, do you want this and this and this? And I told her, yeah, I want that. I don't remember, but I, there was a dish, like a typical dish. And I don't like, I remember they have food. a soup. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a soup mm -hmm. with um, comino, with com cumin, cumul. I don't know, how do you say cumul in, in, in English? I But you know what I mean, cumul. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know what you yeah, mean. Yeah, uh, with a like a kind of milk spice. soup, uh, something oh. that they, they, yeah, very weird. Where is and, your mother-in-law from? Not from Germany, Austria. Right? Austria, yeah. From Austria, yeah. So, so I don't know, something weird, and I say no. But I, if she asked me fish or meat, and I said meat because fish, you know. So, so, but I'm very. I, I, I told her what I wanted. So our relationship was based on honesty, and she knew she mm -hmm. could ask me because I would say not. I, I wouldn't say okay, ask my husband or do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. I would say what I wanted and I, what I didn't want. So I think it's important also to know to 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 be honest with them because most likely they want us to like them too because yeah. who wants to be who wants to be in a conflict there are personalities that are conflict driven but normally you want to have harmony and mm -hmm. you want to have peace at your place so you don't want conflict so if they ask you or if they or, or if you want something special tell them not through your husband or your wife but directly open a channel of conversation you know yeah it's when you it, it, that's that goes every time for expectations when you want something ask, <laughs> ask. 
I've seen, especially now in this day, it's so, 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 I've seen so much, so many people getting disappointed because they didn't get what they wanted or they didn't, they, 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 they didn't cook like people, like your in laws or your husband or your wife. They didn't cook what I wanted. They know me already. They should know what I want. Mm-hmm. You know, that's, that's the logic behind it. And that's yeah. never a good thing. So expectations, arrow, ergo, <laughs> ask. So that's my tip for expectations for everything. Ask or yeah. tell what you want. It's just the you first know? times I didn't know uh, exactly what to ask, you know, because I didn't know what would not fit my expectations. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so leave you yourself allow... room for learn, yeah. to learning. Exactly. Yeah. I felt that it yeah. was important this time of just watching and learning. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then, for example, not now, I'm not saying that you're going to, but if you could come back to the now with your wisdom and your experience, what would you tell your, your mother-in-law? about the pizza and and would you ask her why did you make pizza or or how would you approach that you know what i mean you don't have to be super direct why did you you make pizza but yeah like to find out you know what i mean yeah i don't know i would uh yeah i think i would ask her i think it was because everybody wants to eat different things and pizza is good for everybody that's what i think but i never asked her that's true that's true. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's a good thought. Yeah. And, and maybe the, the truth is not that nice. <laughs> but <laughs> maybe, maybe it's not good that you ask her. But you know what I mean? It's, it's assuming things, sometimes good, but yeah. sometimes bad. Like yeah, you moved true. from the place, you moved from the place to she doesn't like me or she's rejecting me or I'm not good enough for her or whatever you thought to, okay, that's easier for her. Yeah. You know, you, 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 you moved by yourself to that thought and that's comforting and that's a relief. Right. Yes. But if you have, if you, if you don't have the resources or the, or the, um, the empirical evidence, you know, it mm-hmm. is difficult to move from that rejection thought to that acceptance thought. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. So it's, it's, it's better from, from, from this rejection thought to that acceptance thought. If it's difficult do something about it. You don't expect her to, I'm not meaning your, your mother lover in general, don't expect the other to make the move, but mm-hmm. do you do something about it because you can sit forever waiting for an answer, you know, and if you don't, and do that. if you don't do anything about it, it's, and in the end it harms you mm-hmm. more than the other person, you know? So it's about you. It's, if you make a selfish movement, for you to know what is going on and how to um, approach that. Once you know, okay, they don't like me. <laughs> Sad, <laughs> awful. I, I, I'm the worst. I'm the worst. Yeah. I, 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 I don't. I have no luck. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, but I know already that they don't like me. What I'm going to do about that? Yeah. You know, I'm going to forget about it and see them in special occasions. I'm going to do something actively for them to like me. I'm going to be mad and angry and never see them again, you know, but you can make a choice based on reality and not in expectations or assumptions that you don't know for a fact, you know? Yeah, that's true. It took me some yeah. time even to, to reach to this thought, you know, because of mm-hmm. other meetings we had. And then I started to understand also how she communicated with me and told me, you know, I'm not sure what to do because she doesn't like this, he doesn't like this, you know. <laughs> and then I started to understand. But it, yeah, it took me took me a while even to have mm-hmm. this thought. So all that time I was thinking, I don't know if I'm that important, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And yeah. you could have said, now you know with your experience, you could have said, I don't know, years but months of wondering and having this... Yeah. this a weird feeling in your stomach every time you went there you know if you just asked or or actively ask questions you don't have to be super direct do you like me no but <laughs> but, <laughs> but ask, asking things like you know yeah yeah field, if you may but actively not just waiting 
observating and, and keep it, taking notes, virtual notes, it's important. Yeah. But not only that, because if not, it has it can be mon eh, mon eh, um, months <laughs> or even years until you figure out if the I, relationship is I guess I have an idea, but I wanted to ask you anyways. Okay. Why why is that important that I ask her directly and not my partner? <sighs> okay, tell me your idea. Please, I will not hear it. I, I'm sure it's it's it's. I think it's the, the good, main yeah. the main reason is yeah. because I'm building a relationship with her. You know, or that's my objective. And if I go through him, I don't know. It's always like um, I'll just say this phone that is the phone, the game, broken phone, the broken phone game. You know, uh -huh. mm -hmm. I don't know. That's my thought right now. But absolutely, mm -hmm. that's a, that's one, and that's I would say that's the top one. Mm -hmm. You want that uh, relationship with her that's called triangulation hmm. in in psychology when you when you uh, uh, delegate the relationship through other person you know mm. like you know you, you are delegating the relationship through you are you would uh, delegate your relationship through your partner okay. to approach your mother-in-law so one it's that what you said and the second one is he has his own filters hmm. So the communication is not direct and what you want her to know or what you want to say to her is not going to be clean. Yeah, It's going to be through his filter. Even if he says word for word what you wanted to say, he's going. his tone is different as yours. His way to say the words are different. The intentionality is different. Everything is different. Yeah. So it, those are the two facts, yeah, factors and facts that is the communication has to be direct yeah yeah but good 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 uh guess or good uh, uh how do you say that intuition yeah because i was thinking <laughs> that situation i could have asked him i don't know why your mother did pizza <laughs> and um yeah and he could respond i don't know yeah <laughs> that's exactly and that's fine for him and that's it right <laughs> for you okay he doesn't know either oh, yeah <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It would give me even more room for that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. exactly. You can ask for an opinion, but knowing yeah. that it's an opinion mm -hmm. and take it and have it as a, as a, as a part of your notes, if you may, <laughs> your observation notes, but not as a fact. Yeah. Because he has a relationship with her, with his mother, yeah. and that's their relationship. relationship. <laughs> you want to build, as you said, your own relationship with her or with them or whomever in your family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I understand. Yeah. Yeah. But you said some situations are not so easy or uh, yeah. it's also that's, okay, that happens. it's also okay to decide this is a relationship that I don't want to have. Ah that's so 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 important. Don't let your partner force you to our relationship with your in-laws. It is difficult, again, as you mentioned in the beginning, it's difficult per se, every mm -hmm. relationship with in-laws. But if you are away, abroad, your relationship, your um, support network is weak still, because maybe you are still one, two, three, it doesn't matter how many years you are abroad, it can be very hard to build a support network. So to expose yourself to difficult situations that you can avoid because you know they're going to be difficult. Mm -hmm. That's your choice. Your partner can't force you to build a relationship with anyone. Please, everybody's hearing that and watching this. Please, nobody can force you to any relationship. It's mm -hmm. your choice to force yourself in the sense of, okay, I, I can tolerate them. But if you don't want, you don't want, period. Okay? That's so, so important to, 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 to incorporate in your, in your genes and your blood. No one can force you to do anything in general, but also regarding your in-laws yeah. or your family, your in-law family. If you don't want to see them because whatever, that's your right. And your partner has to respect that. If he or she wants to see them, and if you have kids, they can bring your kids. It it, it can be. It doesn't. You 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 don't have to be like the the 
mean one, mm -hmm. you know, because they, you are not allowing them to see their uh, grandchildren mm -hmm. or their niece and nephew. But if it's something that causes you stress and you're not ready or whatever, you don't have to be in a relationship that you don't want to be. Yeah. Because I've seen that as well. And that's very difficult. Okay. That's one thing. The second thing is you decide what kind of relationship. I mean, I, I, I just put the, the more extreme example. Mm -hmm. But if you don't like them, but you feel strong enough to tolerate them in the sense of one one day or one weekend by their, by their place, do that. But because of you, not because your husband or your wife will be happy if you do that. Because what happens usually is that you went resenting them. Hmm your husband or your wife or your partner you know because oh i did this for you yeah. i exposed myself for an awful weekend because of you mm -hmm. it's the same if, if we move we move because we love someone but nobody forces us yeah. to do that that's our choice yes the same within loss we decide if we have a if you want to have a relationship with them or not yeah that's important because that leads to a lot of resentment that our partner doesn't deserve. Yeah. And it works for expat life or normal life. Yeah. For every, 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 every life. life. <laughs> every life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, concerning expat life, you said something, doesn't matter how many years you are already in that country. And I realized that because that Christmas I was already in Germany, I don't know, since three or four years and now mm -hmm. I'm already since eight years mm -hmm. and uh, some things of German culture they are still difficult to deal with for example mm -hmm. not waiting for us to have the meal you know this, yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> this is still um, that happened once with my father-in-law if it would happen second one maybe I would not be surprised at least um, mm -hmm. but um, I don't know some other context maybe i will be i don't know it's it's still difficult for me so it doesn't mm -hmm. matter how many years you're already living somewhere um it might be that you encounter surprising things or things that don't fit your expectations definitely definitely and again i i, I don't want to put you on the spot you marga on the spot but if it happens again or to preparation for you for anyone who's watching just ask mm. you know uh, Olaf you know Olaf I, uh, 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 by, for me it's very very important that you wait for me for us to eat because that's a very important tradition and it's Christmas blah 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 mm -hmm. can you wait for us can you eat something uh, we will we will make the impossible to be on time but you know with two kids now yeah. it's, diff it's difficult blah, blah, blah. Is it is it possible that you wait for us, or is it possible that we that if if we fail for 10, 15, 20 minutes, you wait for us? Yeah, I mean, at least think about it. Not you, and again, whoever is watching and that's that's in a, in a similar situation. Yeah, can you allow yourself to say that? And if it's different, if he knows, because some people just don't know, and they, they, it's not their exactly. duty to know. Exactly. Yeah, they are not responsible for. Exactly, well, because we have seen we have been doing that for fifty years. For I'm I'm seventy, and I've been doing this uh, eating at two or at twelve every Christmas. I eat at twelve every Christmas. Why should I change that? Yeah, you know, not even not even asking myself. I don't ask my ask myself if I will change that. I just do that because that's the thing I do. Exactly. So if Marga comes or Juanita comes and tells me, can you wait for me this time? Uh, why shouldn't I? I mean, you know, at least she's asking me. Yeah. I I can say yes or no. And that's information for you as well. And now I'm going to do a small assumption. Yeah. Um, while I was there and we arrived yeah. and everybody ate, I felt yeah. like for my husband that was normal. It's nothing special. Maybe it's just to that kind of dynamics. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so I felt really like I am the one that is having weird feelings here. Yeah. So I'm the one yeah. that should put them down, you know. I should mm -hmm. not feel this. Um, you know what happens when you say that? Really? Yeah. 
that's not good. I should not feel that. Mm. <laughs> Something is wrong here. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Every time, and that's to wrap up because I. Yeah, yeah, I know. We have to go. <laughs> um, every time you think or you feel like you shouldn't feel something, mm. that's definitely, definitely a sign, an alarm. Like ah, ah. <laughs> you should feel what you're feeling, and it's something that that makes you sad. I shouldn't feel like this. That's more information. For God. That's weirder, and that's something that you should you should uh, talk talk mm -hmm. or or um, put put focus on. You know, yeah. because the shouldn't. I I was the weird one. I shouldn't. I wasn't supposed to feel like this because everybody accepted it. So I should accept it as well. Yeah. That's ignoring what you're feeling. And what you're feeling is important. That's information. And that, and also after you have all the information, like talking to your husband and asking, is it normal? Is it is it me related? Is it is it a rejection or is it tradition? Or to ask your father-in-law, you know, to gather information, but never deny <laughs> what you're feeling. Yeah. Never in any situation. I think we tend to do this if we are in this cultural context that everybody's like doing something else or exactly so it looks like it weird <laughs> and and it can be it can be a cultural difference and, and, and it, it can we can work our way through accepting and adapting and and, and be flexible etc cetera, etc cetera. that's but that's another that's the next step yeah but to feel weird hey i feel weird i feel uncomfortable i feel sad i feel disappointed that's fine to yeah. stay with those feelings is not uh, good for your mental health but to acknowledge them is the first step to heal yeah. okay thank you <laughs> <laughs> this was intense <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 i get very intense when i when i when about about feelings and emotions you know <laughs> yeah yeah and something i learned with you every feeling uh teaches you something Exactly. Every, everyone, even the worst ones or the ones we are not supposed to feel, mm -hmm. actually those are the more uh, charged with information. Yeah. So that those are the special ones to have to put a special uh, extra focus on because there's a lot of information there. Yeah. Great. Thank you so mm -hmm. much for having you here. I don't know. If You're you... very welcome. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you can follow Gabriella also on her YouTube, Instagram, book counseling with her. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you will you will put all the all the links in all the your links description, on the description right? of this video. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So reach out if you are struggling, if you're having these uh, kinds of issues or anything related to expat life, or not even related to expat life, but you want online counseling with me, you can reach out to the all the all the links that Marga is going to post in the in the description of the video. Down okay. below. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to both our channels um, and uh, I hope to see you soon. Yay. Yeah, me too. Have a lovely, have, have lovely holidays. Thank you, in, you in too. Portugal. <laughs> see you soon. Thank you. Bye. Ciao. Oh. <laughs> okay. Stop. Okay. <laughs>